More than 100 churches in South Carolina voted to separate from the United Methodist Church with 28 of the churches in the upstate. 7 News reporter Elise Devlin spoke with church leaders as well as LGBTQ plus support groups who say that they're helping those impacted. This week, more than 100 churches across the state voted to separate from the United Methodist Church. 28 of those churches are in the upstate. We hold a strict adherence to, to the teachings of Jesus and the Bible, so um, that was the reason that my church left. Pastor Michael Cheatham leads one of the churches that have chosen to separate. There have been a lot of folks that have wanted to change the book of this one, but rather than wait until it changes, they've decided to... Um, to violate it openly and um, without uh, any punishment. Pastor Cheatham is referencing the belief that marriage is the union of one man and one woman. However, LGBTQ plus support groups in the upstate say as same sex marriage is not allowed at these churches, they will fill that space for them. Honestly, it's a little sad that people who probably have already been rejected by churches in the past, um, they need that safe space. So I think PFLAG's goal would be to make sure that that person is feeling loved, even if they can't do that in a church today. David Wood is vice president of PFLAG, a support group for LGBTQ plus people, and says while he spent much of his life dedicated to his religion, his mindset shifted in recent years. In the support meetings that we have, not a meeting goes by where religion does not come up. Someone is struggling because maybe their child just came out and as they desired to continue to love and support their child, family members more or less close down the communication with them and they start losing relationships that meant a lot to them. Moving forward, separating churches say while they love and accept everyone, they want to stay true to their beliefs. We do believe that they have sacred word. Um, it's just that the Bible calls for uh, certain things. Um, like marriage between a man and a woman and um, and we adhere to that and that's our belief and and persons of like-mindedness uh, are welcome there. All separating churches will leave the UMC affiliation on June 30th and you can find a full list of all these churches on our website at WSPA.com. In Spartanburg County, Elise Devlin, 7 News.